up guys uh this is vlog number three i'm um, here at the shop just got here uh, see how it works out today we got busy work today we got a lot of stuff to do uh got scion um got a whole slurry of stuff i got a scion i gotta do a couple estimates i do a couple stuff as you guys can see let me go through two trucks you see a cadillac i'm gonna do that uh, engine on I'm going to do the engine on this Cadillac. I don't know if you guys can see right behind me. This is my lot. All this is right now. All this stuff. I got to check this one. And I got another car back here. I got the U-Hauls. These cars are all done. They got to be picked up. That Honda Accord over there is junk. I need to junk that. What I have to do today is move those U-Hauls. I have to move those U-Haul trucks. Move them around. Uh, organize them a little bit more better. Because I do share a parking lot. As you can see, all these other cars, all these other cars, trucks, and everything, they all share the same parking lot as me. Everybody can be comfortable in the parking lot. Everybody can fit in the parking lot, so no complaint. Disarmed. Ready Disarmed. to arm. I'm ready to arm. So, yeah, guys. My goal today is uh, what I plan in doom. And just turn on the heat, TV, and all this other stuff. Basically, my plans are to work today. I got a couple cars I gotta do today. Probably work on one, two, three, four cars. Check another uh, fifth car and move the U-Haul around. Uh, I got my brother coming around. <clears throat> he's gonna probably help me out moving some U-Hauls around. We can do that while he's here. And um, basically, that's really it. Another thing also is I did apply for to get a gun permit. First time I ever did that. <clears throat> took a long process but it was a long process but it's needed maybe later today I'm gonna try to go to a gun uh, gun store they're one opened up by me uh, so what I'm gonna try to do is pass by there maybe at lunchtime to see what they have and see what they have so I can purchase a gun maybe so we'll see how that works out I do want to uh, see what type of guns I was thinking about uh, a 40 gonna be a 45 <clears throat> i was talking to i don't know if you guys know um nestor from mechanic oc i asked him what type of gun i should get he was telling me i should get a nine and i may end up looking for a nine but i'm gonna see if they have a full size nine nine millimeter for you guys who don't know uh so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna try to see if i can do that today and check it out and see what they have um that being said let's get this day rolling I'm just opening up right now. Let's get the stuff rolling. It's at the end of the day. <laughs> um, today was a busy day for me. <clears throat> when, uh, trying to knock out a couple cars. Trying to order some parts and whatnot. <clears throat> just wanted to give you a heads up. It's been a while I did a vlog. Uh, a couple days, maybe a week. <clears throat> As you guys know, I'm here at the shop. Pretty late. I think it's already um, after 6 o'clock already. Um, so, I'm still here working. I got this Chrysler, Chrysler PT Cruiser. I'm still doing the wheel bearing hub, which I'm done with it. Now I'm going to do the uh, tie rod ends. This acker over here, uh, boop, boop, right here, this acker right here. Basically what I have to do on that one is two front struts. Today, I ended up um, getting a motor and trying to figure out what motor. So basically, here goes. <clears throat> got myself, let me bend down so you guys can see. I got myself, not myself, but a customer, a motor. So basically what I have to do today, or probably tonight or tomorrow, start working on a car. I got a Cadillac Escalade that I have to do a motor in. So as you guys know, I'm here by myself. <laughs> so this is a lot of work for me. So I'm gonna be busy all, probably all weekend maybe. <clears throat> so we'll figure out how that works out. So I got a motor to do, finish up these two cars. Um, still got another car outside. I got two other cars outside that I had still got to check out. I got a Honda Civic I got to check out to see what's happening with that one. Uh, they just want me to check it over. It looks like it's been in an accident. So I may end up just sending them to a body shop if they're trying to make me fix their body work. Which I'm not going to fix up. Which I'm not a body man. Even though I worked in a body shop. Um, I don't do body work. Uh, I don't even want to touch it. Not only that, I got another car that's outside. It's a uh, Chevy Malibu. Once in a blue moon, it shuts off. So far, I had a car. Yesterday was, what, Wednesday. 
today is Thursday, and never shut off of me. Had it running for a couple hours outside, took it for a ride, everything else, and it wouldn't shut off. No check in July, no signs of anything, doesn't shut off. Um, he had a, the guy with the, the owner of the Chevy Malibu had a problem with the car shutting off on him while he's driving. And it doesn't do it all the time. It does it uh, once in a blue moon, you can actually say. And also, um, he says sometimes when he shuts it off, you give him a hard time starting or it won't start at all. But the car will do, but the car will start. So I'm in the middle with that. And um, basically, it's been a long day for me. Plans to do a couple videos. Uh, I want to do a video on my toolbox. Toolbox, here we go. If you guys didn't see uh, previous videos, uh, previous videos, I got my toolbox. I want to probably do a toolbox tour and see what, um, so I can show you guys what I have in my toolbox, how big is my toolbox, and what I use my toolbox for, and how many tools I got, and why I have them. Uh, may probably make a short video. Another, also, I have a tool court which is dedicated for my scanners and everything do with somewhat electrical. I got it recently, so I'm not too organized in the drawers. Some of them are, but not all of them. What I'm gonna end up doing is also is doing a scanning review. Uh, I know a lot of you guys are um, starting out to be a mechanic and probably want to learn or want to know which type of scanners out there or will be good for yourself to learn how to um, be a mechanic or get to get or get to know how to do diagnostics and check engine light. I got a couple scanners. I got one, two, three, four scanners. <clears throat> four different scanners for you guys so you can try out, or I'm trying out so you guys can see the difference um, between a big scanner and a tiny small scanner. <clears throat> I got a cheapy scanner and whatnot. I always tell everybody, or mechanics I always talk to them, or starting out, I know a bunch of them, that uh, always ask me what type of scanner should I use. I say get a scanner, that, a big scanner, or a good enough scanner that can scan the computer for all the codes. A cheaper scanner may not get all the codes as a big scanner like a Snap-on or mac -on. So that's what I'm going to try to do. Uh, my personal truck got a check-in delay. I know it have a check-in delay. I've been having a check-in for a while. So what I may end up doing is slapping on the scanners, the small one, the big one. <clears throat> I'll slap all of them so you can see the difference between all the scanners. Not only that, how they work, what they um, what kind of codes they pull up, if they pull all the codes up, and which one do pull the codes up, and what I use them for. Uh, so basically, that's another video I'm planning to do for you guys for um, scanners. So I definitely want to do that for you guys. Uh, especially for those the ones that like to do diagnostics and like to play with scanners. I'm a com um, I like to mess with the scanner. I love playing with scanners. I got freaking one, two, three, four of them. So four fucking scanners. Shit. <clears throat> I do work here by myself, so I, I have to have a backup for my backup for my backup. <laughs> Not only that, one scanner does something like the other scanner doesn't do. Um, and then the third scanner does something that both other bigger scanners don't do which i like which is actually connected to my um all data which i use as a software here at the uh in my business you guys uh hope you guys like the video um what i'm gonna end up doing is uh working probably late tonight uh see how far i can get i want to try to get these two cars out of here uh knock them out for tonight after knocking them out tonight uh send them out for alignments tomorrow yeah i don't do alignments over here i don't have an alignment machine as you can see it's not, I don't got a big shop to have an alignment machine. Well, it's big enough, but I'm not enough to have an alignment machine. So I send my alignments out. It's better, easier, and quicker, and there's a couple blocks up the street, which I have no problem sending them, and they get them back to me pretty quickly. Uh, and they do a good job at it, so, <clears throat> so can't complain. As you can see, I can still sell alignments here in my shop, even though I don't do them. So I'm going to try to get these done, these cars done out of here. And I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. And maybe tomorrow. Let's see how it is. Tomorrow, Saturday, maybe Sunday. I'll probably post up my toolbox and tool cart um, tour for you guys. And let's see how that works out. All right, guys. Peace out. Hope everything is well for you guys. Don't forget to comment on the bottom. Like the video. Subscribe. And once you subscribe, don't forget, press that button with the little bell so you can get all my updates, all the videos I make out. Uh, all the videos that I make <laughs> so all you guys peace out take it easy have a good night I won't because I'll be working peace <laughs>